Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Playbabe. So I have an awesome topic today for today for my vault vlog number two, which is two in French. And funny that I mentioned French. So as most of you may may know that um, follow competitive scene for Call of Duty, the Ultimate Gaming Challenge in Canada, UGC Niagara, happens yearly for the past couple of years. It hasn't really got as much exposure as it should, but this year, UGC Niagara 2014 is in partnership with UMG Events. Yes, at UMG Events on Twitter. Um, at, like they've had the UMG Elgato 20Ks in Philadelphia and the various places over the last year or so in Black Ops 2 and Ghost that all the pro teams have attended. It is coming to Canada officially May 2nd to 4th, 2014. It is now the Ultimate Gaming Challenge Niagara in partnership with the UMG. The, the tournament is going to be from May 2nd to May 4th, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's two divisions. There's the 4v4 Call of Duty Ghost Team Division, which is a $20,000 prize pool based on a full 96 team bracket. Then we have the $2,000 prize pool for a 64 team bracket for the 1v1 NHL 14. So basically, Team Passes went on sale yesterday at February 3rd, 2014 at 8pm. That the passes sold out in 37 minutes. I have two teams in my organization, Vortex Esports, that we need passes for, and I can't get a single one. I was sitting there with my PayPal up, waiting to hit next to pay for the passes, and I would have had them just in my reaches, and then literally two minutes went by, and they were sold out right before I got to do it. And I was super, super devastated. I read that UMG, so there's 96 teams. I was like, how can 96 passes go? That's like four people on a team, so you guys do the math. So what I figured was, people bought extra passes thinking they could sell them for a higher profit, if you get what I'm saying. Guess what happens there, though? UMG Events tweeted out, as you're going to see on the screen, that all team pass transfers must go through at UMG underscore Shiner or at I prof 3t or profit so all team and then also all team passes must be sold at face value so that being said all these people that bought extra passes are trying to make extra money from buying extra passes it's not going to be possible what they're going to do is uh when you pick up your pass you have to fill out the gamer tags your team um your real names and an email so what happens is for that pass to be able to transfer to the other team it has to go through UMG and has to have all that stuff changed. The Prophet said that he's going to verify them personally. That's how he's going to ensure all team passes are sold at face value. Because uh, someone tweeted out that they're wondering. Because that makes sense um, when it's only when it, they're $180 a piece. How um, like I could just go on eBay and put up a picture of UGC and Agra and be like, "Yo, $350 HMU," and uh, we'll get we'll get it going. And I'll send you the information, and you can go do it from Profit, but. Um, he's going to be checking them individually, so that ca actually cannot happen, which is pretty good. It's just showing that um, they don't want this to really happen. They don't want people paying like $500 for a pass. That's super overpriced. Uh, on the UGC Niagara site, um, there's also the logo, and the sponsors are also DSBN, like usual, District School Board of Niagara, IBM, uh, which you should all know, uh, Brock University, which is Faculty of Education, and one thing that I do not know that I will try to confirm is if uh, UGC Niagara is partnered with UMG Events. And I know UMG's partnered with Elgato and they have sponsors with uh, Control Freak or whatever else the rest of their sponsors are. Um, I'm wondering if that partnership means that UGC Niagara, um, because it's through UMG Events, if that if they like inherit or get a piece of uh, um, uh, the sponsors that come with the UMG Events brand name, or if not. Um... I don't really know about that yet, but all I do know is this event's going to be awesome. It's great for anyone that's Canadian, uh, hasn't gone to an MLG event, um, can't find money or resources to, you know, get to an MLG event anytime soon. Um, it's really good for those people if you're close in Canada. I know there's a lot of people in Canada that want to see this kind of high-level uh, gaming or electronic sports competition, and it's just happening now in 2014, which is great, and it hopefully continues on. Another thing, actually, uh, that I do know is that I was talking to um sean abner which would be optic scumpy and his brother's father on twitter and i tweeted at sean abner saying you were going to go sweet i finally get to meet the i finally get to meet the legend exclamation point exclamation point possibly the trio 
So that was a question at the end. By trio, I mean like um, his Sean Abner, which would be the father, uh, Scumpy, obviously, um, he's an Abner, and then his mother. So what I know from other events is that uh, Sean um, or Scumpy's parents go to a lot of his events to watch and stuff like that. So I, so by saying possibly get to meet the trio, I was implying you know optic is Scumpy gonna be going. Um, Kongog or at Sean Aber retweeted me back saying absolutely bud smiley face see you there heart so that's kind of I can't like that's obviously you can't confirm that but that is an optic speculation um right there for you and plain text right there on the screen so you can see it basically um it's totally possible it's a $20,000 Elgato 2k tournament all the pro teams have gone to the other events so why wouldn't they come to this one I know one thing for you Americans that will be attending the event and do already have passes and such um I'm Almost, I'm 95% positive that if you try to come into Canada, the little ID cards you call your passports, they will not work. Uh, you need the booklet passport where you put the stamps in and stuff. Um, I know for us Canadians to go anywhere outside of Canada, even in the United States, um, our little ID cards do not work anymore. We've had to have the booklet passports with all the stamp pages and your identification and your picture and stuff on the front page, on the front flap. Um, for about four or five years, and that's the only way we can leave outside Canada and travel into the States and such. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to need the same. I don't know. You definitely look up uh, the laws on that because I, you wouldn't want to drive for 13, 15 hours and just have your car and find out, oh, like, I can't get into Canada and the event's tomorrow. Or if you fly, you, you won't even be able to um, get it, get from the States into Canada at all without that because we all know that flying through the air, you need the booklet passports. You should all get those for sure. Um, you should do that as soon as possible because... I know in Canada here it takes about like six to eight weeks to uh, six to seven weeks to get a passport. You have to get the photo done and pay for it, send all the information, blah blah blah, get stuff signed, and then it has to come back to you. So it, it does take time. Um, so all of you people that are coming out of Canada into Canada for the tournament, you should definitely look at all that stuff. Um, make sure you're ready to go. So when it comes to May second, that you actually end up getting here for the event. Another awesome thing is that uh, Austin Pemage. Um, Ramble Ranby, all those people, they're all Canadian too, there's a lot of Canadian YouTubers um, that are big in the COD community, so hopefully they're all going to come on down and get some more big YouTubers faces down here, like T-Mart and stuff like that, that would be really cool, um, Envy hopefully is going to be there, um, I do know that from uh, Curse Parasite's Twitter, he was talking about uh, getting a pass, so hopefully Curse Las Vegas, I just want to see a lot of pro teams, it's good for Canada, um, we've been waiting for this for a while, and it's good for all of us to you know, finally get a big electronic sports event Finally here, um, home grounds in Canada in the Great White North. It's awesome to see, and I personally cannot wait. Um, I'm still looking for two team passes. If you know anyone that has any that would like to sell them or transfer them or however they want to do it, please direct them to this video. Direct them to my Twitter at PlayBabe. Um, all you people watching this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. If you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out. Also, check out my Facebook page and my Instagram. Keep up to date with everything that has to do with me and my channel. I'm Mr. Baby, guys. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vault Vlog number two. And I'm out, guys. See you later.